Basically, like you know, we're basically no difference. He's supposed to show up now. That's basically that big guy that like you basically stopped replacing most of the last episode. We'll basically, you know, see him more later on. And we also get to see a couple more like the enemies basically at this point. So there's that too. Now, first things first, I looked up basically, I went through the guts again to like you know, essentially, like you know. Take everything I could find, like, you know, scrap it. And I love that basically in the supply crate here, basically put like, you know, excess stuff basically not using. That'd be like this, like, you know, the sharper stun gun this guy basically had on him, this like, you know, NPC right here. Gia uh, Kyung Ho. Well, let's take this for now, I guess. Officer Ja, this is Chief Elazar. I can't really just pause it as soon as I go in here, I guess. But yeah, I'm not the for one of the cute beam in here. One of the shotguns basically has been carrying around for like a, you know, past a while. The cute beam am um, ammo. Oh, here's some duck beer. Um, I just want to note that the duck beer I basically threw it in here, so basically I remind um, myself basically of this. Basically, duck beer cures deer, and that'll be important later on if I basically run into something. So we're just gonna keep it around for now. Ja here, chief. How can I help you? I need you to report to deep storage and get Chief Show to reactivate the tracker on Grant Lockwood. HR deactivated it as part of the termination, but we don't have a record of him on the departing shuttle. I want to know where he is and escort him where he needs to go. On it, Chief. So by the way, you get basically a nice little like you know side checker for this guy here. But yeah, basically after like you know excess stuff, I want to basically keep in here for now. And. We're just gonna recycle all the stuff basically like got from the guts here. Whoops. Alright, so I gotta watch out for that. Um I'm not the base of my little like um niece was basically playing this game, so or not this game, but you know, on my computer, so just have to fix up a few things there, but whatever. Alright, so we're basically caught up from like, you know, the last little bits where I basically, like, you know, got out of the guts. And this is like throw it out there. If I basically had like you know excess stuff, I'm gonna try to like you know cut that out at this point. So you have to basically like, you know see me like you know rummaging through and all that stuff, but whatever. All right, so let's just get up here. So yeah, basically up here we saw the nightmare briefly. He wasn't able to get through here, so like you know he just like just sort of like you know, looked at us and just ran away. So that's fine. There's Mark right there. Just gonna drop him right there so he picks on my way. I don't think there's any mimics in here, but whatever. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. See, so yeah, I basically can, like, you know, do that basically there, lift inter interference. Alright, welcome to the Guts. Or not the Guts, uh, the Arboretum, so to speak. Let's get the science pissed out here for a moment. Oh, here's a note. So, formula, formula testing approved, blah blah. This is actually for like another, like, you know, objective we can do right here. Guardian tips. Although many requests you basically can do in this game. All right, so that mimic is right there, basically. 
You can see him bouncing around there, but you know, whatever. No dive base can't get in here unless they have, like, you know, packing, so. They can run around in there, but, you know, we can't get to it, so, oh well. Alright, now, note there's basically a path over here. Oh, it's just the mimic in there is basically causing that. You know, at this point, I really should just, like, you know, get my health up, so... Let's just, like, you know, try and look around for, like, you know, the health here, I guess. Ooh, a shotgun with 50% durability. Yoink. And I got some food. I also need some health, so let's eat that right now. Oh, I damaged turrets everywhere. Doing their thing, being damaged. Those bolts. And yes, the harrowing music. Because stuff is around somewhere. So look at the big guy that we basically saw, he's basically gone for now. Very big place running around apparently. There's a couple turrets here, which is nice, so we we'll possibly make use of those when we need to. Alright, here we go. Requesting new operator. Let's get some health so I don't like, you know, keel over because something hits me. So heal up. Cool, brain pill plans. There's a med kit. I'll take that. Bye, I'll let this basically like, you know, stuff behind this crate here. Turrets are going to take some damage here. See, I know that these were basically like, you know, little looking glass things there. At first, like, you know, get rid of them, so we're basically exploring here for a little bit. I can't recall if it's basically like, you know, Any, like, you know, nukes in here, but, you know, we'll look around for them, I guess, briefly. Oh, keep them cells, why not? Guess there's turrets over there. Bye, I'll note that I could come this way, but, you know, there's really no need to, so whatever. Arrived a flashlight, I think, at this point, so. Okay, so he's up there. I think that might be the, like only a phantom I have to worry about that a guy basically got killed, so we should be fine for now. Basically, like on this level, there's gonna be mimics, there's gonna be like greater mimics, there's gonna be like, you know, more powerful phantoms running around, and other stuff too.
I'm just gonna grab what we can here. So, there's basically like something for like side attacks and stuff like that, but whatever. Don't care. By the way, leverage is where it's like important for stuff. This is probably the best thing to do right here. There. We want to do it safely, just do it safely, right? Shotgun shells, weapon upgrade kit, shotgun fabrication plan. All right, lots of good stuff basically here to like you know make use of. I'll take that, sure. Spare parts, why not? You know, I'm not really sure if spare parts hold any purpose for me because I can't really use them for repair. I'm not really sure you can basically use spare parts without using repair, so. Even well-hidden ones are not a secure means of storing your workstation password. Alright, I think I basically explored down here enough, so let's just go to the next bit. Alright, so, I'm not that basically, like, you know, the main thing I always want to do this episode here is just, like, you know, loop around for, um, hostiles and kill them, so to speak. Oh, it just takes you to like the main lift over here. We'll do that process later, but you know. We're just gonna take this guy. Oh, he was like, you know, five over the place. Everything go well. Eventually, had to wait a while. Two assholes in the sales team chose that exact moment to stand under the alarm bell and smoke cigars. So it's off Talos. My clients are eager. Yeah, just made the last shipment. Should be our time by morning Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for you after tomorrow's shift. Drop site. The lobby. Assuming it works. Of course it works. Three taps on the wedge. It'll pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. You're adorable when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily. Talos smuggling ring. So, remember when I was basically hitting alarm bells with like, you know, three rocks the wrench? Basically, like, you know, these guys are probably like a smuggling ring here. And, um, well, basically, like, you know, there's like a couple more basically, like, you have to find, which basically has some stolen goods that I can basically retrieve. Let's just take these turrets elsewhere. These turrets are probably gonna get destroyed real quick, but, you know, they can be useful, so we're just gonna, you know, come around here for now. You know, I think about like, you know, portal. These are like companions. Companion turrets. Alright, so, I'm not that basically over here. We'll basically find like the interest that that guy was basically at. And actually, I just like, you know. Screw up for this guy here, but whatever. Down here, I guess. Deploying. We're just gonna basically go over here, we'll basically like, you know, go to the power Empire door, I guess. Go to the power basically force right here. Now we're gonna be in here. Alright, so yeah, I'm looked at, um, as I basically said before, pistols are very much a diamond dust, so to speak, in this game. But shotguns, definitely want to throw shotguns basically in here. 
Hope you're not afraid of kicking going there. The rest of this stuff I don't really care about, so I guess like you know salvage and stuff like that, so why not? Whoops. Oh you can also carry like you know storage space and stuff like that around. Well, you can. They don't fall over, but whatever. I suppose they still work, but you know. There's like glitches and stuff like in this game to watch out for and stuff like that, but whatever. You know what? Let's just throw in a toolbox here. So. We're just gonna go in here, we'll start like ditching stuff based in here for now. And I probably it for a toolbox, it doesn't have any more space, so. Really just to show like there's like different like you know space like for like everything in this game, so. Well, I had it nice and set up, but whatever, I'll just have to. Remember, I basically like flip these basically over. Yeah, spare parts, sort of stuff. I'll keep them around for now, but whatever. Not really sure how useful they are. All right, see, so yeah, I know the main idea is I want basically to like find enemies, so we're just gonna go grab the pistol over here and we'll at least like, you know start finding some enemies, so to speak. Because there's some very interesting enemies we basically pop out here. While we're at, let's just go try and find that Greer Mimicus around, so. We'll go find it. Since I know it's basically running around and now about. Whoops. Yeah, there's a hole there, don't you know? And I'm not, you know, strong enough to basically carry the thing, so. Yeah, I love the Great Mary Prince runs up this path over here. Go this way. Hello, good to see you again, Doctor Yu. There's the medical operator, I guess. So, hey, hey, over here! Open this door, please. Can you get it open? Scan. Please. That's required. Remember how it's like the telepath guy basically in the you know trauma center? This is a telepath. So, let's just go read about the telepath here, I guess. So, the telepath is considered to be one of the most dangerous known typhoon, capable of physically controlling weaker willed organisms and even people. It is almost impossible to contain for further study. Please note that subsequent to incident case 1405-031433, the creation and containment of telepath class specimens is no longer permitted. All personnel entering psychotronics are required to wear a psychoscope in addition to regular safety equipment. So yeah, I'll note that this is basically like, you know, one of the more powerful typhoons in this game. And as you can basically just said, it basically controls people. Now, it doesn't actually control like Morgan, but you know, uh, basically the, the idea like the telepath is like, you guys are like the reason like there's any like, typhoon up in the game with because Basically, can control people and like you know get the people to basically free them. And that's really what basically happened. Now I'll probably just basically like, you know walk down. So we locked the doors to the greenhouse, but this one flies. 
We don't know how long before it figures out the roof isn't covered. Five minutes ago, Enda tried making it into the greenhouse before it took her over. She won't stop screaming, yelling at us to stay back. If we can kill a flowing thing that infected her, maybe we can save her. If you find us, no, please help. Kill it before we, um, we won't be ourselves. So, Randy. See, that's important notes based on details right there. There we go, kill the Grey Mick. We knew it was around, so we might as well kill it, right? We'll basically deal with it with the, uh, you know, the telepath soon enough, but you know, for now, we'll start B. He's probably going to tell me about the telepath. Yeah, don't care about you. All right, so I looked at the telepath. It's a pulling like creature. And it comes usually complete with like you know mind control, like you know humans all over the place, as you can basically see. So yeah, alien research, blah blah. We learn some stuff. And yeah, I know because we basically keep like learning stuff. We'll basically like learn like, like you know, psycho shock here, stuff like that. There's some energy stuff in here as well. We'll basically get as well. So telepath and something else. New psionic aptitude available. Scan complete. There we go. So there's Randy, by the way. She's like the one who basically wrote the note. I'll note that you can actually fit safety people if you basically want to, but you know, we're not going to. And by the way, my controlled humans. So they basically have like you know their own like you know thing in here. So basically, like you know, I went as Doctor Trevor Young, uh, slamming lavishes into some type of enclosures. When it became clear that he intended to break containment, I was forced to start to summon this doom. So. Basically that was like the guy we basically like, you know, we killed the first like, you know, control guy we ever killed in like the crowd center. He was basically like, controlled. And like, you know, that's basically like, you know, what basically triggered all this basically. So connected to the Typhoon Telepath, should avoid getting too close, triggers a strong connect blast when it knocks, um, when that knocks out the other side abilities, ends up killing them. Sun Gun might take them out long enough to sneak past, might be able to free them by, by you know, from the Typhoon Control somehow. And like, you know, all the weaknesses, because they basically have all the weaknesses basically. Alright, we'll do that basically soon enough, but for now, let's just like, get back down here. Now, no power is gonna be a bunch of, like, you know, mimics basically to deal with at this point, so we'll just carry these guys around as we go along. Phantom? Phantom. Come on, come out. So you can't come out. You might be stuck in there. There we go, he's finally coming out. There's gonna be more phantoms, but you know, that's just a nice way of, like, you know, helping to clear out a few of them. See my ammo sucks. Maybe because I'm not happy hit, but whatever. There 
go, we killed it. Bob, we're gonna finally finish all over the place in here because there's just so much room for it. Bye. Thanks, Black, for leaving you. Made my bird. There's a note, so the greenhouse checklist. So, blah, blah. Here's the password, basically, for like, you know, the greenhouse, basically, want to go in there. Let's get, you know, stuff from this guy. There's the neural mod. We have to use the car, why not? Unfortunately, by the way, that mimics basically lost, I think, the goods of it, but you know, that's not what sometimes happens to basically, like, this is in rush in this, like, level, because you know, foolish is basically everywhere. We okay, got 30% left on this, like, pistol, that's fine by me. On the part where, like, the pistol's gonna be very useful here, but you know, we're probably gonna go through like, you know, crazy, so to speak. And by the way, as I basically said, there's like, you know, enemies like of all types basically all around, so here's some like enemies right here. Our like corrupted like, you know, engineering operators, because you know why not? You can't actually get in there, so you don't have to really worry about them, but you know, whatever. Oh yeah, by the way, research. So, corrupted operator. So blah blah basically like, you know, it's all about like, the corrupted operator, so the engine took the how um blah 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 checked it out. So tell me that it's been physically wired, it wouldn't be programmed. Just like the last four cases, this looks like sabotage to me. So that's important by the way because basically stuff is sabotaging like the like operators. And we don't know why. Uh have I eaten all this stuff before? Probably. But whatever. I'm still trying basically to get like, you know... The achievement basically for eating all this stuff, so let's just eat all this stuff here. There's a phantom there apparently. Alright, so to deal with that phantom, we're just going to go get ourselves an explosive to throw at him, I think. So let's just go up here. We'll grab ourselves an explosive. Now, I know by the way, eventually I'm not going to be like so, like, you know, careful around, like, you know, enemies. I'm probably just going to, like, you know, just blow them up, like, with, like, the most powerful weapon I have on, on hand. But still, because I'm so squishy, I basically want to, like, play it safe, so... We're going to keep playing it safe as a result. You know, I'm trying to basically like to glue gun this like entire area so you can't see anymore. Let's just equip this for now. I'm just gonna do this just that. It's not working. Oh well. I see there's a sneak attacking this guy here. Come on up, come on up. Alright, we kill that phantom. I know probably there's gonna be like probably another phantom down here, so we're not out of the woods just yet, but you know. We clear that little bit of area. Now note that the Arboreum 
I don't think it basically likes to respawn a lot of stuff here, so we should be good basically to like, you know, grab lots of stuff here. Shotgun shells, nice. Basically, like you know, do something stupid, like you know, hit the button. I was like, avoiding that. All right, so I know at this point, basically, we've like you know, shown off like you know, corrupt engineers. There's a telepath over there. I'm actually going to kill the telepath right now. So good. So maybe I'll do that. Now I know they're basically going for a certain team here, which basically like, you know, requires them to kill all the humans. If you basically let these guys suicide you, it doesn't actually count as killing them, so... I'm just going to do a quick save here. Probably going to, like, unlock this if you want to, so... Help out because he's going around crazy, so whatever. Kill that one. I don't know that that obviously our mom and don't actually want to kill me, but no, whatever. Like that's what they do to like you know they explode on you and that's what they basically get killed. I don't think easiest way to see dealing these guys watch stuff first so if I can't get a sneak attack on well this is like you know Do something else basically to kill him, so to speak. Hello, nice to see you. What do you want from me? See, there's a telepath over there, by the way. Sure, learn, learn to adore at this point. Probably a tell by saw me there, so it knows I'm here. I think it can't fly over the roof of this guy, so I have to watch out for that, but you know. Yep, 
there goes, so it's basically falling over. So I know this robot basically like fires bullet bolts on you. That'll basically remain on your position and kill you. So Go on, watch out for that basically. Yeah, this is like, you know, achievement hunting. This is where it gets kind of difficult. It's basically, I want to get the team to kill this guy and, like, you know, or kill, like, the guys that are around him. I don't want to kill him himself. Technically, it's pretty easy to kill Telepath first, but, you know. We're gonna basically try to like, you know, kill off a human spirit before killing him, because they're like, you know, also nuisance, so to speak. The thing about the humans is that they can basically, like, you know, um, just like, you know, explode on themselves and... Stuff to watch out for. There's Ranny. So I failed to save Ranny, but oh well. They're worried. You're not like the rest of us. Alright, the telepath is basically uh, you know leaving a charge again, so. Hello, nice to see you. President, go this way for a moment. I can't like go around like the other way here to get around to him, so. There we go. So they're all dead. Except for the telepath. Seems a good place to save, so we're just gonna do a quick save here. These guys are actually kinda tough because basically because they can like, you know, use homing attacks. They're just like, you know, deadly for it, so. Oh, well, malfunction. So there goes this weapon. I need this guy to follow me now, so we can basically get, you know, closer to him. I know the main reason for keeping a pistol is just for this guy here because, like, you know, he does have that, like, you know, tendency to, like, you know, float around. But if possible, I would rather kill him with my shotgun, so. Hopefully, it comes down to ground like this and was basically, like, you know, stun him again and shotgun him. There we go. Splat. So that's a telepath, by the way. And the easiest way, way of like, basically dealing with it is you see this to like, you know, sort of like get to come close to you and like, you know, splatter it with like a shotgun. 
Why'd I reload this? There's absolutely no reason to um to reload the you know pistol. Let's see if I can basically drop this and like you know get its like ammo that way. So we're just gonna drop this. And uh, you know whatever. Anyhow, let's go in here. We're just gonna quickly pick up a new pistol. I knew it was basically gonna happen. We we're gonna like you know have like pistols like the you know the on me here. So let's throw a broken one in here now. I guess. On the by the way, we basically come like to those tell fast. That's basically we're gonna be like you know spending a lot of my like you know ammo. Like just taking out those type of guys with my my shotguns. Uh, eat those. And before I forget, let's just go like you know um, see for the greenhouse and then like you know we'll say yes in the first episode. Inspection of your uniform. Report to the hardware lab for a diagnostic. Now, no problem. You're probably gonna like you know find like a lot more kill paths and like you know they're like you know pick up paths to prevent me for like the robots later on at this point. Hello, are you here for an appointment? That's like gonna be like probably your first case in the PC seeing one of these guys. You know I sort of feel like I should use explosive cancer to kill that guy, but whatever. Here's Ranny. Your pistol. I don't know if I would possible to save these guys, but you know, because we're killing them, we're just going to kill them. Her pistol is 25% apparently. I don't know why pistols are so like little durability in this game, but whatever. Let's take those spare parts. By the way, Aubrey, Sunburst Bananas. Lots of bananas you basically can pluck in here if you want to. And our foods. Sky, Sky King uh, pomegranates, right here. Take that. There's a, a chip that I just picked up. There it is, a scope um, one. So potentializer, basically increases like your your side, I guess. Ooh, water pressure regular. This is actually important. We'll pick this up now. Moonshade lemons, so there's a sign for that one. There's also tomatoes here as well. Ah, uh, it's locked. There's like an our operator dispenser right here, I guess. You're gonna find operator dispensers all over the place, basically, you know, like the operator, which is basically nice. So you should never like be shy of like you know getting like uh, um you know operators basically make use of in this area. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. Alright, well, I could go and pick up all this stuff in here, but you know, there's really no need to. Basically, like, fruit is fruit. And I'll probably basically be able to, like, you know, grab these if I need to, like, eat them. So, we'll just grab one of, like, you know, everything here is eat it, make sure I've eaten it. Yes, all the biological specimens in space. So, I love the idea of, like, the Arboreum, by the way, it's like, you know, you basically grow stuff here to, like, you know, um, you know, feed yourselves. So, you have to basically, like, you know, ship in, like, products from, like, Earth. That's the idea of, like, this place. Jump over here. Yeah, but I can, like, go this way to basically get to, like, you know, the recycler here, so why not? Also, by the way, there's, like, you know, this is stuff all over the place in these places. This one doesn't work here, but I'm actually find, like, this actually do work and do stuff for you. And while we're out, let's go. There we go. You see all that stuff. And we'll just, like, you know, throw junk in, throw this in. I guess I want to throw like you know some super carcass basically just stuff over here I guess. We'll do that now.
Throw a pistol in here. Throw a weapon upgrade kit in here. Now, I know this, like, you know, war push regular is going to be important for later on, so let's just throw this in here for now. I don't really need to pick it up and, like, carry around with me for now, so it's like, you know, throw it in here. So, I know that's basically like, the first half of, like, the operator I'm basically explored here. Essentially, like, you know, as we go through here, we'll basically, like, you know, um, we'll basically, like, you know, get to, like, you know, see, like, Alex's office, which so is basically, like, you know, I haven't really, like, you know, shown up, but basically, like, you know, up there is basically Alex's office. I'll basically, like, you know, walk it basically up there to, like, do stuff eventually. But that'll be for, like, next time, I think. Welcome. Maybe I can help you. This seems like a good stopping place. Basically, like, you know. As we basically go on here, we'll basically go over in this area over here. We'll basically, bandits for us to deal with, and like you know, obviously, probably some mix as well. And we'll make our way basically up to like obviously basically like, you know bungalow up there, so to speak. So that'll be fun. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this like you know quick little episode, and take care.